2014, she traveled to ISIS-held territory in Syria, taking her one-year-old son with her. What's so interesting about Tarina is that she is, she's textbook. She was not particularly religious. Once there, photos emerged of her posing with an assault rifle. Yeah, I get that you can see all this picture with the gun. Well, I did what I had to do to survive. After less than three months in Syria, Tarina managed to make a dramatic and miraculous escape. Nobody knows what actually happens out there and how the hell she got back. She lied to the police. It was never my intention to enter into Syria. And in 2016, became the first British woman to be tried and convicted of joining ISIS. Tarina just didn't tell the truth. Now she is the first to have served her time and be back living among us. With others in Syria also seeking to return, could Tarina's story hold important lessons? The way we stop people becoming radicalized is to listen to Tarina's stories. But how can we be sure that those who return from ISIS are no longer a threat? Is she a terrorist? That is the question. Tarina is about to become the first British citizen to return to the UK from ISIS and speak freely in public. It's easy for everybody to say, oh, she did this, she did that, but you really have no idea what I was living through. Nobody does. After serving three years of a six-year sentence, Tarina is being released from prison. Dr. Mike Jervis runs outreach programs aimed at preventing people becoming involved with gangs or terrorism. Tarina contacted him when she was arrested and he was called as a witness for the defense at her trial. He's also come